Welcome, Aries. This is your October heart spread. Be care. I'm using the ethereal tarot deck here, illuminated tarot deck. It's kind of big, a little hard for me to handle, um, but uh, I like it a lot. And uh, you know, death was on the bottom as I brought it out. And October, man. Here's the thing. Like this is the good part of death. <laughs> Um, the bad part is the death, you know, and the good part is the um, transformation. And I think like as these planets roll back into forward motion, um, some during, I think Jupiter, mostly Saturn is a big one for me. It's going to go direct during retrograde. And then Jupiter, uh, you know, I think that's my planet. I think October is going to be a bang up month. It, watch the Soul Family Read if you haven't. It. It's uh, in my description. It's just for a collective for if you resonate. Check it out. See if you resonate. Might think you're part of Soul Family. But I think what we're seeing is um, a, a lion's gate. You know, manifestations were lined up. They're, they haven't come. They're coming. And um, with this, uh, we're going to see the transformations finishing up. And we'll see what's, what we got. <laughs> You always think, you know, how could a caterpillar just imagine what it's like to be a moth? And that caterpillar's gonna be a moth. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Coffee Adam. Coffee's my ally. Has been for many years. They've been trying to find something bad on coffee. They ain't got the key, really, you know? It's got all of the uh, essential oils in there. It's good for you, like, like uh, things like pot. <laughs> Been drinking uh, banana peels uh, boiled with some lime and honey and cinnamon. Uh, my girlfriend makes lots of potassium and uh, it puts me to sleep. And you know, it's like finally so I'm drinking a, a hot glass of that and it doesn't it's not you would think a boiled banana banana peels would suck, but and she's Aries by the way. Yeah. I love Aries. Sagittarius here. All right, so here we go. This is reading you and whoever's on your heart. And what it is you're thinking of. Who's uh, in your heart? Who's on your mind? Compare them. You're kind of showing up here. I kind of think of it too as the first house, Ace of Swords. I like that. Uh, any Ace here is really good because this is your energy where you're at in and around relationships. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about it yet. Uh, it's on a spectrum like everything right negative to positive the negative aspect to this one is a chip on the shoulder it's like you're just ready can be to say to like one little thing wrong and you're you're like before maybe you didn't say anything you'd think with an Aries you did maybe you didn't <laughs> but you can say it now <laughs> yeah and this could speak that probably uh, you know could be Gemini or uh, Aquarius energy in your chart too I uh, to do astrology so often see that popping up and I see this here is like more or less like your first house and now we're gonna look at your seventh house and this is your animus anima projection of what you desire into your seventh house for you uh, as a sun sign you know of course Libra but here's the Queen of Cups so this would imply a water sign it could be cancer you know Scorpio could be. Um, I tend to see a Queen of Cups like a Cancer card. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I mean, it could be Pisces, could be Scorpio. More like Pisces or, or Cancer to me. The Queen of Cups. And she's such a beautiful Queen of Cups, you know. Uh, make no mistake, though, a Queen, you know, surrounded by an army and a castle and castle guards and, and very strong and powerful. Uh, but emotionally available, emotionally whole, uh, emotionally intelligent, emotional queen. Why do they have cancer? A cancer moon. Okay, so this is good. Um, let's see. I mean, I have no reason to read anything negative. I kind of a neutral on what this is. But with the Ace Sword in this energy, it's darn well. You're uh, in your mind, and you have a certain purpose, 
ace of swords, you'd be very serious about it, very sincere about it. And like anyone you would meet, it's kind of like uh, whoever you're going to meet in your seventh house, whoever you're going to bring in, um, they're going to kind of meet your sword. They're going to meet your sword first. Be like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> and uh, Queen of Cups could handle that, you know. No problem. Page of Cups. Hmm. So this page of cups is looking back at you, Aries, and I, I know this is kind of how I'm feeling about this. Um, it's a w this is about where you're at and how you're feeling now about this person, not like the others. This is you in general. This is specifically how they're making you feel. And. Um, It's very weird. It's like um, perhaps all that you've gotten so far is, you know, a page of cups could be I love you. Um, you know, from a, a cancer person, I mean, they just may say that to a lot of people they care about. I mean, I kind of do. Uh, you know, it's uh, because the pages are messages and here it's in the position of how you feel about them and it's coming towards you. Here's I think I just got a hit on this. I'm about to clarify it, but no, here's what I'm thinking, Aries. Um, the way they're reacting to you um, is kind of what you wanted to feel. And, you know, it's a page to a sword. It's kind of perfect, you know, because here you are meeting them sword first, and where they're sending their page. And look, it's like a child reaching out with what you know a cup of emotion you know it's like like you're coming with your sword and they come out and the feeling to you is if you know you're being met by a child with a cup a child that loves you like or a puppy just when you come home they just love, how could you possibly even if you're bad but you know even if you i hope we're not going to kick the dog if at all unless you had yeah, a really bad day but you know this is like somebody um uh, kind of surprising you uh, with a feeling and I think with the page of cups it's like I would say there was something that happened uh, probably early on it could have been an instant thing I don't know if you guys met physically um, but it's like this you know this is a little bit like the energy of like this is a heart spread for who's on your mind who's in your heart it doesn't necessarily mean you were someone looking for love you could have been that person Aries going around saying yeah you know I don't think so <laughs> yeah like show me a good man show me a good woman I don't think so a little like that and here they come and they kind of break through that with this simple page of cups sincerity like you feel it like this is really God they're really sincere like if they say they love you it's kind of like you're like gulp man they, Jesus this, this person really loves me and kind of kind of get into you now let's look at how they feel Look at this, guys. I swear to God. Page of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, wow. I'm getting like all kind of feels and emotional. There's a lot of healing readings. You're always so negative. I see this is someone healing. Um, <clears throat> they're backing this up. Your page of uh, cups that's looking at you. Okay, this is how you're feeling about them. But what you're, you're kind of almost overwhelmed by how powerful just the fact that they love you is and the feeling you get from it of a moon type feeling like safety and home you know probably like a soulmate type relationship it could be like ah oh, I think I'm in a soulmate relationship and this is so beautiful this is how they feel about you and the reason I'm kidding me uh, this is a person you know they're a queen of cups okay they understand everything about emotions yours and theirs um, and this is them understanding exactly how to approach you it's like they really could be your soulmate and you know it's like they're not coming on too hard they're not coming on too fast but they're coming on page of cups page of pentacles look that page is looking down and kind of just but they're, you know, something about this page, and also very sincere. Aries, if there was any doubt, your person is totally sincere. But this page of Pentacles, 
I believe when you look at this, you can see it good here. It's like she's really almost in love with that coin. Huh? Almost in love with it. Just looking at it like, but like it's not hers. You know? It's like I think she's supposed to take that somewhere. Not her coin. But she loves it. She has to just stop and lose herself in how beautiful it is. And that's you. The what she's looking at in this is you. <laughs> huh? Man, there's a lot of starts here. It's got to be something new. Okay? Coming out to the Hermit energy. You. Like, been in a cave, but doing the good work. You know? You've been trying. You ain't playing. You know? Um, the Hermit points his finger at himself. His overall energy. Could be both of you in that energy. All right? Ace of Swords coming out of that energy. He, he not, you don't have a sword. He's got a staff and his lantern. If he goes out at all, he peek out of the cave at night. He was a little lantern. Go back in and get back to his books and his astrology tables. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what you've been up to, Aries. So let's see what's your advice. Beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous reading. I mean, oh my God. Ta-da, my favorite uh, card in this deck. <laughs> it's the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. I call him the Jim Morrison King of Cups. This is your advice, Aries, in this relationship right now. Do you understand we have the king meeting the queen? Man, woman, doesn't matter. Doesn't mean you're a dude and they're a chick. <laughs> it's a beautiful energy because this is advice from spirit. And so to me, it's very distinct, very clear. Spirit is asking you to simply just be your most emotional self, be open, be secure. And this is like an emotional, like, green light. And I think it's spirit assuring you that this is your soulmate. You have a, queen, a king of cups to the queen of cups. Now let's see what their advice from spirit is for you, towards you in this relationship. Wow. I'm going to read it this way. Um... This is very much what I saw, why I was so emotional about this page of pinnacles here. This person is a healer, maybe, uh, Aries. Um, they know, uh, they feel exactly uh, how much to bring to you. They're very careful about not doing too much and more than you can handle emotionally, I mean here, guys, uh, in the way of uh, just not just healing just uh, uh, avoiding any red flags avoiding triggering you because you're ready you know you got the sword it's like and it's like with the advice this is like man look he's chill as could get he's a king man it's like he's wearing a robe man he could be like the dude in the great Lebowski this is some seriously laid back energy that's like you say hippie like it's a bad thing, man. <laughs> you know, it's just so cool. Get you back here where you belong. It's like, I just love, Dad, come on. That guy looks just like Jim Way. He did it on purpose. You know, what's his name? Matt uh, Hughes is the artist. Yeah, he's probably like a uh, Doors fan. Who knows? But, wow, this totally confirms it because this is advice from spirit. And if you're cross-watching, good job. You're doing the right thing. Relationships heal. They're not all a bunch of narcissist nonsense. You know, uh, sometimes it, relationships heal. And sometimes you do have a soulmate. Sometimes you have great love. And uh, here I see su such a beautiful love and there's such a depth of understanding. It's like, man, they know how to play you like a fine-tuned violin. You know, and with as much respect, this is like a Stradivaria. And you just, uh, in all of it, you know, maybe you can just touch it for a minute in the shop because you can possibly afford to buy it but you're just in all all of it you know it's a physical thing and also with pinnacles it implies that their feeling for you is very solid very sincere it's a relationship okay wow Aries, let's go queen of pinnacles we're stacking them up baby so this is the advice from spirit for relationship as a whole a little bit before the first six, card, six cards, I kind of look at it as synastry in a way. I kind of envision sometimes what might be going on in your synastry charts when I see these. But this shifts to the composite relationship chart. 
um, where your charts are analyzing their midpoints and method, and you get one chart, you know, sort of the cake, and you know, your person's coming in with a lot of water, and you're coming in here, you're fire, but you probably got a lot of air. I'm thinking, you know, um, you may have Mercury in Aquarius, and I'm an astrologer, work with over a thousand people intimately. Every time I see a Mercury in Aquarius, I mean, it's not so much that they're geniuses, it's just like they just got a mind that can do the job. They, they need study, study, they need to figure something out, they just figure it out, you know. I'm, I've been steadily impressed by that. Um, but this combined, uh, you're creating this uh, fire, water, they may have earth here uh, going on and water, so earth and water, fire and air, look, it's like everything. You're combining the four elements and you're creating this stability. Um, and it's a really nice stability because the Queen of, of Pentacles is a little softer than the King of Pentacles. I think it's divine feminine energy. So it's receptive energy. Um, and you kind of just look at her picture, how sweet she looks and that piece. Uh, you know, it's saying that you can be self-contained couple, you know, the mature, uh, healthy. This is not, this is not any kind, there's no kind of a codependency and drama and, and nothing. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh, the hermit, we glad he got out of his cave, man. <laughs> and the eight of cups. So I don't think this is walking away from the relationship. I don't even feel the need to clarify this. Now I, I see the heart spread. Um, emotionally, I think this is mostly speaking to you, Aries. Could well speak to the other person. There might be a reason why your other person understands all this, but maybe they previously had gone through pretty much the exact kind of experience. And what this is saying is emotionally, you can leave behind everything that doesn't serve you, you know? And sometimes, with this card, Eight of Cups, it doesn't hurt to, I'm a Sagittarius, I did it once, and I counted back, because I hadn't used my fingers. And it was eight. It could be that literal. But it's like this person, Aries, is fully prepared, and they've gone through this before, and they know exactly how to help you, and they're your soulmate, and you're very strong together, you know? And so you have to understand also the position of the cards. This is what the outcome of the heart spread. What does that mean? This happens. This is what happens. You walk away, and you don't walk away from this relationship. I think it's speaking right to you, Aries. You walk away from all the emotional stuff that's making you greet people sword first. And it's just great <laughs> you, when you're solid and, you know, Queen of Pentacles, you know, you don't, you know, you're not worried about anything, um, period. <laughs> Thank you, guys.